Welcome to Makoko, a floating slum in the Nigerian megacity of Lagos. Officially, this part of the city does not exist. You won't find these dingy canals and ramshackle huts indicated on any city maps, but John and his team are trying to change that. Armed with their location tracking smartphones, they crisscross these waterways with the aim of putting Makoko and its approximately 300,000 inhabitants on the map. We are going around with a team um, made up of girls from Makoko uh, to actually um, collect points of interest within their neighborhood, within their houses, to put this on the map so we can have um, multi layers of um, points of interest on this map. So we can see the streets and have easy navigation and um, all of this can be on the map for free. John works for South Africa-based NGO Code for Africa, the organization behind this drive to map out the slum and improve the lives of those who live here. Every point of interest is carefully entered into the system, like Watanabo, a floating barber shop. So we're putting your barbing saloon on the map yeah, to be part of the point of interest that people will see. When they look at the Makoko map, they will see Watanabo. Without property deeds, or in many cases, even a legal existence, the inhabitants of Makoko live with the permanent threat of eviction. For this local traditional leader, appearing on a map for the first time is a step towards cementing his people's place here. Before, in Makoko, we were in the dark. But now, with the work you have done, us traditional chiefs can see that you have done a good job. We are only fishermen. We didn't know how to mark out the different neighborhoods. We are very happy. John believes that the inhabitants of this part of the city should have access to the same knowledge of their neighborhood enjoyed by those who live elsewhere in Lagos. All of this, we are still working on it. And when we are done, it will look like the rest part of Lagos here, where you can see streets, you see different places. The public will now be able to see this neighborhood differently as the map is ready to go online.